everyone gets excited talking about patterning whitetails. Unfortunately, as we've covered before here, a whole bunch of the talk about that just isn't even real. It's not, okay. They exaggerate the heck out of, the experts uh, exaggerate the heck out of how well they pattern the deer, when in reality, the overwhelming majority of them are hunting with outfitters and never seen the whitetail before in their lives, and they're doing this to tell you how smart they are. As I've covered, really, in my humble opinion, the whole key is to come up with one. If you can come up with one simple kink in his armor, one, tendency that he has to pull off during legal shooting hours. That may be a food source, that may be a water source, that may be a travel corridor between bedding and water or food. It may be his bedding area. The more of those we can come up with, the better. But if you can come up with two, you're actually doing pretty darn good. Okay, there's another wild card in all of this. That's called seasonal shifts. Now, whitetails are not pre-programmed, except if you're talking the northern herd. The northern herd in many areas migrate to overwinter traditional yarding areas. That is pre-programmed migration, okay? Except for those brutally northern nasty winter areas, the rest of the majority of these whitetails are not programmed to shift their locations. The reason they do is because their needs change throughout the year. Okay, if this habitat right here does not have everything those whitetails need for the entire year, they're going to shift to areas that do have what they need during the portions of the year that this spot here doesn't. If you pay attention, if you want, you can often do things with seasonal shifts. You can often make it so they don't, simply by providing them everything they could want and need each season on that property. As I said, they are not programmed to do these shifts. That said, it's not necessarily always the best route. You got 40 acres of ground, you got 100 acres of ground, even to the right 200. Investing that much energy into year round? Heck, if all you care about is hunting season, why are you doing it for the rest of the year? You know, some of us, do care about the whole year, others don't, neither is the right answer. Okay, but here's the key. When whitetails are doing seasonal shifts, they almost always repeat them year after year after year after year, and you can dang near set a calendar to it, okay, that they're going to leave approximately this week. But don't worry, approximately two months later, or four months later, or six months later, or eight months later. You know, they're going to return this week, and it tends to work that way year after year after year. Once you realize that, now you're in the game and you can start taking advantage of it. Final thoughts, brought to you by Huntworth. Patterning whitetails is cool, it is, it's fun. But you know what, it's almost never, ever as tight as we try to make it sound. As far as we know so darn many things about the this white, I mean, geez, we know what it's gonna do before it even does it, yeah, no. Rarely, if ever. One thing that is very rarely talked about, though, is seasonal shifts. A white tail, except for the northern herd, is not programmed to shift with the seasons. What they're programmed to is these are my needs for these this season, that season, this other season, and the other. I need to address all those needs. When this habitat right here does not do it for the entire year, they're going to migrate. Okay. Can you make it? Can you offer them everything during each season here? A lot of properties you can, but it doesn't necessarily make sense. <clears throat> do what makes sense for your situation. And remember, if that buck, last couple years, you've had these mature bucks shifting back on the first week of October, guess what? Next year, there's a really good chance they're gonna do the same and you can be in position to take advantage of it before they even shift. You do that type of stuff and it can actually make a difference.